Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today is April 27th. It's a Friday. It is beautiful out-ish. It's 60, upper 60s today. Really windy. Probably 20 to 25 sustained is what they said. And a really big fire danger because the relative humidity is like 25%. So we're definitely not going to be burning anything today. But I think to, my uncle said today is going to be the first day we're planting, which would really surprise me. But Well guys, I'm driving on my way to Preston and I spot this bad boy. This is a John Deere. Looks like a 4830 with a carbon fiber boom on it. I didn't know that we had any in this area, but I know these booms very, very well. I used to work with them a lot last summer, but I didn't know that anyone, any but uh, co-op around here bought any. So, yeah, just thought it was kind of cool. So, was... so guys, I'm going to be finishing chiseling, finish chiseling the field I started last night. I just got back to the cat, and the field we were doing is kind of right, straight through the chisel. So definitely get a little bit of video doing that. So I'm gonna go out and air up this tire, air up one of the tires in the back. I'm gonna finish chiseling this, and then we're going to take the chisel off and put the soil finisher on this bad boy, because apparently we are gonna be planting today. So heck yeah, we better get going. chiseling this last piece and I'm gonna unhook this bad boy stick it on our soil finisher I only got probably eight nine twelve more passes left or so and then uh, I'm gonna take this back unhook it stick on the soil finisher and then I'm not sure what it'll do someone will probably soil finish I'm guessing these two track tractors I just can't they're just so fun to drive So we're, about, we're in our back 40. So the, our home place is right there. Ah, well, you can see it right there. So I'm on, right up on top of our big hill. Just chiseling away. We have Brian and Richard are doing anhydrous some more. Nathan should be on his way back. We have Dan who's kind of helping set up our spray, our tender system. He's setting up our reductor. We're gonna be putting on our our, uh, our tender trailer for our sprayer. He's getting that set up right now. And Pat is off doing miscellaneous stuff like getting the drag ready, probably getting the planter ready. A lot going on today. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna go try and put some WD-40 or some lubricant in it. See if that'll fix it. <laughs> and this thing's really heavy. So I'm using it kind of like a crane, a cane. But it's stiff both ways. I'll yeah. try to get it extended. Extend this this way. So that should be. This is a bad deal. There you're starting to come through. Nope. That's it? Yep, unless I start forcing it. Pull up on it now and see. Yeah. Got it unhooked. Now we're gonna go hook it up to the soil finisher. There's the disc and a tire change. There's the cat sitting. And we got all the fun stuff in here. Skid loader, quad, 1066 on our oats drill or our drill. In our 7110, we got to move before we can get at this sunflower 
soil finisher. Getting closer. guys it's really windy so i'm going to talk to you guys in here so what we're doing is i got the cat hooked up to the soil finisher and this thing hasn't been touched since fall i said probably since last spring so i'm going to go through basically dig out those rolling baskets behind the set of discs i'm going to go through and dig out all the crap that's kind of caught up in the bearing i'm going to grease that i'm going to grease the disc i'm going to grease basically everything on there we're just going to look over everything for general cracks we got to replace there's the hitch that's almost gone so we got to replace that other than that, we should be able to go here in the next couple hours. Well, guys, that sucked. It took my uncle about an hour, probably just over an hour, to grease up everything and kind of pick at the bearings where the where the uh, the rolling baskets are. Pick them out, pick the straw out, and it was just constant. The wind was blowing all the all the dirt up in the air towards right right towards us. And of course, we I parked the machine right facing the wind, so we were facing the wind. And that. Oh, that was not fun, but we got it done. So Nathan's going to head up to one of our fields called Tim Zimitz. He's going to ask kind of about 10, 10 miles from here. He's going to go disc where we're going to be putting notes. And either Pat or myself is going to go out back and soil finish where we're going to be putting notes. So out back, and then we're going to head down to Kunal's tonight as well and do that. So. 